So like, I'm still a little bit confused by the way you use the word Yahweh, because I would only ever use the word Yahweh to mean a person, right? To me, when you say the Father is Yahweh, the Son is Yahweh, the Spirit is Yahweh, what I hear you saying is there's like three sub-persons who make up one super person or something like that. Whereas I not sure if that's what you mean i think you are using yahweh as something almost like an essence or a quality no no i i accept that yahweh is a personal name but what i'm but i don't believe that therefore only one person can be uh, uh can be referred to using that name if it's true that the being that is god who presents himself personally in the old testament is uh ascri is is ascribed the name yahweh or or ascribes to himself the name yahweh and especially if that name um is itself a uh a, 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 has its root in a in a verb you know the, the the copula in in the Old Testament Hebrew haya, um, then it would which make is sense. singular and personal. If the being that is, you know, the being that is necessarily um, can if if the person who um, manifests the being of God in the Old Testament can be described using the name Yahweh or referred to using the name Yahweh, I don't see any reason for thinking that name can't equally apply to the other okay. divine persons. Is it sounds like you have four persons? It sounds like you have the Father, the Son, the Spirit, and Yahweh. Is that right or is that wrong? <laughs> well, it, it's wrong insofar as it doesn't reflect my view. When I talk about person using Trinitarian language, it's a personal self. When I say my being, the person, the, the personal self, is the possessor of being. And it's something that subsists in being. Is It isn't a concrete thing separable from it. And even though creatures are universally unipersonal, I don't see any reason for thinking that the divine being can't be tripersonal. It still seems like you have four persons. Though. Not using Trinitarian language, because it, in, order to, in order to say that I believe in four persons using Trinitarian language, you would have to say that there's a fourth uh, personal self that subsists in the being of God, a, first, uh, a, a fourth subject and object of interpersonal relations, and I don't believe that's true. So does Yahweh have his own mind? Uh, I am uh, undecided on whether mind is a property of being or a property of person. Um, so I think it's, I would be equally comfortable saying that there's one divine mind shared by all three divine persons, or by saying that mind being a property of person is something that each person has individually. Or is, God way some, is Yahweh someone else entirely, which is, I can't help but hear that. Um, so when you say God, he, or God himself, who are you talking about? Because you it, that is language that you use to refer about a self or a person, mm -hmm. but you can only seemingly refer to either the Father or the Son or the Spirit as a person. So how can you use selfhood language to talk about someone that isn't one of those three persons? I don't think you're going to find any word that satisfies all parties. I use the phrase personal self. There's something about um, personal self that subsists in being, such that you can refer to my being, my soul, my mind, whatever, without, without just using those two things as syn synonyms. And what I'm suggesting is that whatever you want to call that, personal self, person, individual, hypostasis, subsistence, you know, however, and by the way, that is what the early fathers meant when they used languages like subsistence and so forth, is to say these persons don't exist as concrete things independent from the being of God. They subsist in it. There's certainly nothing logically contradictory or incoherent about it. You know, by very definition, in this language, to use the language I've been using, you've got three persons and one being. You don't have four persons or four beings. I think the church has failed its people in that in recent generations, it has failed to um, instruct Christians on what the Trinity is and why we should believe it. When you say Yahweh himself, mm -hmm. though, I feel like you either need to mean one of the three persons or you're somehow talking about them collectively. 